Writers examining the rise of populism and the new divisions in politics identity three new areas of conflict. Firstly, the rise of technocratic governance that clashes with popular democracy, second, the rise of the supranational as opposed to the nation, and lastly the clash between cosmopolitanism and community. Following the significant success of the SNP, it is worth pointing out the profound contradiction within this political party that happens, at least for now, to represent both sides of the above divides. Having experienced processes in Holyrood at first hand, it is noticeable that the SNP represent the new technocratic elite as much, if not more so than any other political party. Their comfort zone is the committee room, sitting with lawyers, heads of charities, like-minded academics and experts who act as an echo chamber in formulating policies at a distance from the electorate. At the same time as being part of this aloof class of technocrats, the SNP are able to represent themselves as the opposite, as a new voice of the people, the defenders of popular democracy against those in Westminster. Secondly, the SNP is able to promote the idea of nationhood and to engage with a national desire for more control over your country. At the same time however, the SNP are also the arch-promoters of the EU, a supranational bureaucracy that undermines national sovereignty. Lastly, the SNP is able to tap into a sense of community, of tradition and commonality between people, of Scottishness, while at the same time being part of the new global cosmopolitan elite. This all creates a confusion of issues and ideas that have yet to play out. For example, many SNP supporters or voters hate the politically correct, nanny state dimension of the SNP, the chronic tendency to patronize the public and to interfere in their daily lives, their drinking, eating, parenting habits and their correct or incorrect use of language. There is also a sense of frustration about many services in Scotland, from education to health and policing. At the moment the SNP have managed to avoid these contradictions. They stand as populists shouting power to the people, while running Scotland through committees and experts. They represent the nation but one that will be subsumed in the European Union. And they stand as defenders of democracy while standing on an anti-democratic platform, stop Brexit. The SNP have benefited from the collapse of first the Tories and then Labour in Scotland. They act as antimatter, feeding off the end of class politics and masquerading as the People's Party. Logically, these contradictions should result in a split in the SNP and or the emergence of new political parties. For the people of Scotland, let's hope so. For more on this story, visit the news article link.